Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Concord University, Dr. Kendra Bogus. Thank you, Dr. Mainland. Thank you, Dr. Ball and the Concord University Band, and Dr. Hudson and the Concords for your music presentation. I want to thank the members of the faculty, parents, friends, alumni, distinguished guests, and members of the graduating class of 2017. It's with great pleasure that I welcome you to our ceremony today. This is a time to enjoy recognizing the accomplishments of each of you, and it's an exciting time. It's a time to celebrate. I want to take a few minutes before the celebration begins, and I want to thank a number of persons and groups who are instrumental in the success of today's activities. This is one of two ceremonies. There is another at uh, 2 o'clock, and so there's a lot of planning that goes into it, and the ceremony is enhanced tremendously by the outstanding work of our technology team. They're usually up there in that booth, and they make it possible for all of us to enjoy this and also for parents, family members, and friends around the globe who are unable to attend to see the ceremony online. So I ask you to please join me in thanking them for the hours of time they spent in setting up this venue, recording the day, and preparing for our technological needs. Thank you all. The planning efforts of our commencement committee have been outstanding again this semester, so I ask its members to stand <clears throat> as you also offer them a round of applause for their work. There are several distinguished inv individuals who are very important to the Concord community, and I would like to recognize them too. Although um, he's not able to be here today, this person sends his best wishes to those in attendance. I would like to acknowledge the first gentleman of Concord University, who is a longtime supporter of Concord, and my husband, Mr. Ted Bogus. Thank you. <laughs> Members of our Board of Governors are also with us. These individuals are appointed by the Governor of, the, of West Virginia and they serve us without remuneration, providing leadership and direction for the university. I would like to ask them to please stand and be recognized. Mr. Elliot Hicks, our chair. 
Other distinguished guests that are with us today, I would ask you to please stand and be recognized. Dr. Jerry Beasley, Pre President Emeritus. <laughs> Mrs. Rose Kessinger, the past president of our Alumni Association. <laughs> Foundation board members, Brad Lane is here. And if there are others, well, thank you. Teresa Fry, a member of our um, Alumni Association. And we have some special guests here that I'd like to recognize. The Bennett family, would you please stand so we can recognize you? <laughs> the Hall family and friends, if you will please stand. Thank you. And the White family and their friends. Thank you. On the platform, we also have a very important student advocate who serves in the cabinet, the Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Margie Flanagan. We are so proud of our alumni and their many accomplishments. So I would like to ask you, if you're an alumnus of Concord College or Concord University, will you please stand and be recognized? I would like to now also recognize our dedicated and accomplished staff members. They, help, they really help us to keep the campus beautiful, beautiful. They do a wonderful job, and they help us to keep everything efficient and functioning smoothly. So if you're a staff member here, would you please stand so we can recognize you? <laughs> and last, and by no means least, I would like to recognize the scholars the educators, the practitioners, the service-oriented researchers among us. These are the people who inspire our students. They challenge them. They motivate them to continue their quest for success and to service as they become citizens of the world. These are the men and women who have ultimately made this day possible. I ask that all Concord University facu faculty, retired and emeriti, to please stand and receive our appreciation. Thank you for your dedication and devotion to our mission, our students, and to the state of West Virginia. I'm going to ask you to also join me in taking a few minutes to recognize several members of the Mountain Lion community who we, we have lost since our last commencement. Their pictures are up behind us. Each of them were very dear to us, and we just want to remember their contributions and friendship to Concord University. The first is Mr. Pete Ballard. The second, Mrs. Frances Christine Cyphers. And the third, Mr. Ed McQuail. Thank you very much. Now I want to turn to these bright young faces in front of me and say a few words about the profile of this group. In the platform party, in front of the platform party today, the graduating class, about half of whom are here in this ceremony, has 365 members, one per day of the year. No. The youngest graduate is 19, 19 years old. His name is Bailey Pace. Please stand. Her name, Her name. I'm sorry, Bailey. The oldest graduate, is Karen Leathers, and I'm not gonna say how old she is because I'm not sure that's okay. Karen Leathers, do you wanna stand, please? Okay. Um, the number of undergraduate candidates, 295. The number of master's degree can candidates, 70. The number who will graduate with honors, 83. More than 57 members of this class have earned the Regents Bachelor of Arts degree. This is kind of astonishing. It's a difference from some other years. Our graduates this year come from 15 different states, and I'm going to name them really quickly. Alaska, Alabama, California, 
Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, North Carolina, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and home, West Virginia. There are 12 international candidates that come from 11 countries, Canada, Bangladesh, Brazil, Nepal, Italy, Japan, Nigeria, Russia, Thailand, the United Kingdom, and Indonesia. There are eight veterans graduating today, and I would like each of the veterans to please stand because we want to thank you for your service. Each student here today, you can look at the caps out here. We had a cap decorating contest. They're all different, they're all uh, sp special people, and they all have a story behind their journey here to Concord. But I'm gonna share just a couple that are kind of unusual with you. Bobby Joe Erickson and Patrick Allen Erickson, do you wanna stand? They will be graduating with, the, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in political science. I think their second, um, second um, ceremony. They're identical twins, and they've both um, been student government leaders, and each of them have been accepted to law school this fall. Brandon Scott Lee and Christine, or Kristen Renee Lee are brothers and sisters from Haymarket, Virginia. They're both majoring in business administration. Are you here today? You want to stand? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Brandon will uh, graduate with a management emphasis and Kristen with a marketing emphasis. Kristen is graduating a year early due to coming with, to Concord with 28 hours of advanced placement credits. And I want to recognize another group that I haven't recognized before, but we share a deep respect and, and, and admiration for this group. Will all the graduating seniors who are first generation college students please stand and be recognized if you are the first in your family to graduate from college. There are so many stories I could share from this group of students who are about to graduate. I'm reminded everyone here has a story. So please remember to share your story and ask about their story. At this point, I want to welcome the Chairman of Concord University's Board of Governors, Mr. Elliot Hicks. Thank you, Dr. Bogus. On behalf of the Board of Governors and the faculty of Concord University, I am pleased to announce that Dr. Jean Lester Bennett will be awarded the degree of Doctor of Humanities, Honoris Causa. I'm gonna offer a few words about the reasons Concord uh, awards honorary doctorates. Many schools, both public and private, <clears throat> recognize individuals who make notable contributions to society by awarding them honorary doctorate degrees. Distinguished philanthropists, musicians, politicians, authors, and scientists often receive acknowledgement for their exemplary accomplishments and achievements that serve a greater good. The earliest honorary doctorate on record was awarded to Lionel Woodville in the late 1470s by the University of Oxford. For those of you in the today's graduating class, the people we're honoring today may have touched your lives or, or those of your classmates in ways you don't realize, through scholarships, through mentoring, and through the support of West Virginia and Concord in general. Additionally, many schools, including Concord, allow honorary doctorates to be awarded posthumously, and the degree may ex be accepted by the honorees family or colleagues, and that will be the case again later in today's ceremony. Um, some years ago, some of you know, I've been in West Virginia for about 38 years, and when I moved here from Florida, I didn't know about Concord. I mean, I had never heard of Concord. There are 3,500 colleges in the United States, and this is one I missed. Um, but when I came here, I realized there were 300, I was told by, when I came to Concord, there were about 300 alumni from Concord in my hometown of Clearwater, Florida 
which I thought was amazing. Um, and that brings me to my comments about our first awardee, Dr. Jean Bennett. There are many memories and stories I could share with you about this amazing lady who I've known since I was a teenager. I realize that we have a very short time here, and I want to just share a couple stories with you. In growing up in the city of Clearwater, um, Dr. Bennett had her practice a couple blocks away from my family's uh, business. She was a friend of my family and a pediatrician for some of the family members that I had. She was well known. She was well respected for her kindness, excellent patient care, and wonderful spirit. Um, she was well respected and a delightful person to interact with. I knew about her success at my alma mater because be she is also a gator, but I didn't know a lot more about her. Later when I moved to West Virginia and I, I became involved here at Concord, someone mentioned a Jean Bennett coming to a ceremony here when we put some lighting up in the, in the library a number of years ago. I thought, could that be? could that be the same Jean Bennett I know? And it, and it was, it was the same person. Um, I later, later learned that not only did Dr. Bennett attend Concord University, um, her mother, Henrietta Lester Bennett, also attended and graduated from Concord University. And the scholarship here that Dr. Bennett funds was made to the university in her mother's name, and it's been my honor as president to visit with her numerous times as Concord's um, representative. I am honored today to be able to present to you a loyal, supportive, and accomplished alumnus who continues to be dedicated to Concord University. The citation for Dr. Bennett will be read by Dr. Peter Viscusi. Jean Lester Bennett, as a pioneer among female medical students and physicians, you went on to have a successful pediatrics practice in Florida. Your dream to become a doctor began early in your life, and you set your mind and heart on fulfilling your childhood aspirations. In high school, you were known as Doc, and this nickname remained with you at Concord, where some of your professors called you by that name. A native of Baileysville, West Virginia, you were valedictorian of your graduating class at Baileysville High School. Your pursuit of academic achievement continued at Concord. As a scholarship recipient, member of the Cardinal Key Honor Society and Who's Who inductee, you put your advanced knowledge into practice by teaching biology laboratory sections as a senior. You received the Physics Award at graduation and earned a bachelor's degree in biology and chemistry magna cum laude in 1956. You pursued a medical degree at the University of Florida College of Medicine. Graduating in 1960, you earned the distinction of being the first woman to graduate from the medical school. You completed your postgraduate training at Chan's Hospital and Georgia Baptist Hospital. Establishing your practice in the Sunshine State, you worked in private practice as a pediatrician in Clearwater, Florida for 40 years. You became known as a caring, trusted professional and were revered and admired by your patients and, your, and their parents. Affectionately known as Dr. Jean, you saw generations of Floridians in your Myrtle Avenue Pediatrics Clinic before retiring in 2003. Throughout your distinguished career, you have held a number of leadership positions, earned a list of honors, and gained the respect of your colleagues. Concord's Alumni Association named you the Outstanding Alumna in 1988, and you are now a member of the university's White Coat Society. For your history as a trailblazer for female physicians, your exemplary career in medicine, and your service to countless patients, Concord University confers upon you, Jean Lester Bennett, the degree of Doctor of Humanities, honoris causa.
I want to thank <clears throat> this university for all the opportunities they afforded me when I was here from 1952 to 56. They prepared me uh, for entering the medical profession. And as I told the other honoree, I have had the best job in the world. I've been richly blessed to be a pediatrician, even for Dr. Kendra's nephews. <clears throat> I counted a privilege to be able to give back to the university and plan to continue to do so. May God bless all of you. I'm especially proud of our uh, tribute to our veterans. I've been following that program for some years now. And to all of you graduates, always be proud to say you came from Concord University. It's a special place. God bless you all. On behalf of the Board of Governors and the faculty of Concord University, I'm pleased to announce that Mr. Charles Hall will be awarded the degree of Doctor of Humanities Honoris Causa. In my first pre year as president here at Concord, our advancement staff invited me to join them in visiting our next recipient because he is such an accomplished and supportive alumnus. His story is inspirational as he graduated from Concord, completed law school, succeeded in the insurance industry, and went on to found several successful privately held financial service entities that operate nationally under his ownership and direction. He also heads a foundation that generously supports his wife and his, uh, his, his, and his wife Connie's love of animals. Um, as his website states, faith and family, business, reading and writing, motivational speaking, working for the rights of an animals, and traveling the world are his passions. It's truly been an honor to have the opportunity to get to know this gentleman, and I'm thrilled to also have the opportunity to meet his family today. The citation for Mr. Hall will be read by Dr. Peter Escusi. Charles L. Hall, you have achieved exceptional success in your professional business career. Along with your accomplishments as a leader in your field, you have also established a record of generosity and service. A native West Virginian, you earned your bachelor's degree from Concord in 1962. Following your days on the Campus Beautiful, you furthered your education at the University of Maryland School of Law. You are to be commended for your pursuit of a career that led, to you, led you to the top level management with Travelers Insurance Companies and the Royal Insurance Group. Your noteworthy professional career expanded into the sphere of business ownership and leadership as owner, CEO, and chairman of ACH of America, LLC, and seven related financial services companies. Headquartered near Orlando, Florida, ACH of America provides personnel administrative outsourcing services. The business operates nationally and serves hundreds of clients with a target market in the educational institutional arena. Sharing your talents and experiences, you are a published author and a motivational speaker. Your kind and generous spirit is evidenced in your work as an animal rights advocate with the friends of Lucky Chucky Valentine. Along with your wife, Connie, you started this nonprofit organization in memory of your beloved Pomeranian. You beautifully shared this special pet story in your book, The Life and Legend of Lucky Chucky Valentine. Extending your philanthropy to education, you have founded scholarship funds to assist individuals pursuing college degrees. The Paris Hudnall Scholarship Fund offers support for West Virginia students and the Ruth and Russell Hall Scholarship Fund, established in honor of your parents, assists Concord University students. 
You chose a re to remember your parents with the scholarship for passing along to you their beliefs in faith, family, education, and a strong work ethic. For reaching prominence and respect in your career and for your outstanding generosity in giving, Concord University confers upon you, Charles L. Hall, the degree of Doctor of Humanities, honoris causa. Good morning, uh, President, August Board of Governors, faculty, grads, class of 2017, unbelievable. Friends and family of Concord, it's a, it's a special treat to be here today on the campus, beautiful and almost heaven. That's what we call our home. <clears throat> Lucky Chucky. <laughs> That's me. Um, I just very quickly, I'll simply say if it weren't for good luck, I would have no luck at all. I do appreciate all of the help that the Concord Foundation has given me to set up the fund in celebration of my parents. Um, frankly, I think I should be giving Concord uh, this award or an award today uh, because, uh, again, the president, our lovely lady president, isn't that nice to hear? A woman president uh, of this of this university. Um, she and I have a passion for education. And uh, I, can, I can tell you that uh, uh, it's something that my son inherited too. And I'm very proud of that. This university, and the simple fact that I was the first one in our family, as so many of you, to obtain a degree, uh, it's, uh, it's, it makes it very special, very special to me. And the, uh, the fund that we established here, the purpose of it is primarily to help uh, first veterans and teachers who wish to remain teachers here in the state and stop the brain drain. Uh, it's very important to me. So I'm, go I'm going to say, my wife of 56 years said, if you're up there longer than five minutes, I'm gonna yank you off of there. She knows how much I love to talk, and I do. I love words, I love reading. Uh, I love looking out at young people. We manage uh, close to 100 charter schools. We, we employ a lot of teachers. And you'd be surprised how many people say Congord. And, and with with respect out in the world. So your degree from this fine institution will unlock doors that will other, otherwise be closed to you. And the rest is up to you. As my younger brother Roger said when he followed me here, at Concord where he was quite an athlete. He says, if Charles can do it, anyone can. And I think I proved that. <laughs> uh, since I was here many long years ago, most of uh, the Hall generations have, have actually gone on to higher education 
and of that I'm proud. Unfortunately, a few picked lesser schools than Concord, but somebody has to go to those schools. Marshall, <laughs> WVU, yes. Rollins, that's where my son graduated. Uh, yes, not everybody can be a Concord man or woman. And that's okay. Those schools need good people too. Maybe you can teach there someday and send some of them back to Concord. Uh, so just very quickly, thank you, thanks to the university, and uh, let me quote a quick, short prayer from uh, the great John Wesley that I hope you can remember. It's short, even I remember it. It says, please do not let me live a useless life, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings on behalf of the Concord University Board of Governors will be brought to the graduates by Mr. Elliot Hicks, Chair of the Board of Governors. Well, thank you. Once again, I wish you a good morning. Uh, to the graduating seniors, the faculty, the staff, the families and the friends of the graduates, I bring greetings this morning from the Concord University Board of Governors. Having now served on the Board of Governors for more than seven years, I have gained a tremendous appreciation for the great work that happens here at Concord through its faculty and staff and the work it does for West Virginia and this region. I'm very proud to have the chance to, to serve. The message I want to bring you this morning comes from a talk that President John F. Kennedy gave to Vanderbilt University on the occasion of uh, its 90th anniversary. Uh, Vanderbilt is in Nashville, Tennessee. Though the, the time requires that I leave most of this wonderful speech behind, I'm going to do all I can to capture the spirit of President Kennedy's original message. This nation was founded not, it was not founded solely on the principle of citizen rights. Equally important, though too often not discussed, is citizen responsibility. For our privileges can be no greater than our obligations. Equality of opportunity does not mean equality of responsibility. All Americans must be responsible citizens, but some must be more responsible than others by virtue of their public or private positions, their role in their family or community, their prospects for the future, or their legacy from the past. Increased responsibility goes with increased ability. For those to whom much is given, much is required. I speak in particular of the responsibility of educated, of the educated citizen, including the students, the faculty, and the alumni of this great institution. The creation and maintenance of this university, like that of all great universities, has required considerable effort and expenditure I cannot believe that all of this was undertaken merely to give this school's graduates an economic advantage in life and in the struggle. There will always be those who scoff at intellectuals, who cry out against research, who seek to limit our educational system. But the, educa the educated citizen knows how much more there is to know. He knows that knowledge is power more so today than ever before. He knows that only an educated and informed people will be a free people. He knows that the ignorance of one voter in a democracy impairs the security of us all. And therefore, the educated citizen has a special obligation to encourage the pursuit of learning, to promote the exploration of the unknown, to preserve the freedom of inquiry, 
to support the advancement of research and to assist at every level of government the improvement of education for all Americans from grade school to graduate school. In these moments of tragic disorder, a special burden rests upon the educated men and women of our country to reject the temptations of prejudice and violence, to reaffirm the values of freedom and law on which our free society depends. Yes, President Kennedy expressed these sentiments 54 years ago, sentiments as important today as they were then. May the blessing that is Concord University favor West Virginia for, for generations to come. It will still uphold learning, encourage public service, and teach respect for the law. It will neither turn its back on proven wisdom nor turn its face from newborn challenge it will still pass on to, the, to our youth the full meaning of their rights and their responsibilities, and it will still be teaching the truth, for it is the truth that makes us free. Congratulations to the graduates. Welcome to the families. Congratulations to you all for the efforts you've put forward to get to this point. Greetings on behalf of the Concord University faculty will be extended to the graduates by Dr. Joseph Allen, president of the faculty. Thank you, Dr. Malin. Well, congratulations to our graduates uh, from the faculty at Concord University. We actually look forward to this day. This is actually what we work for. And uh, welcome to all of you in the audience. Uh, we. Uh, know that you've looked forward to this probably even longer than we have. <laughs> All right, so the Faculty Senate at Concord University uh, last week unanimously passed a resolution at our uh, meeting, a uh, statement that I'd like to share with you. And uh, it reads as this, the faculty would like to thank the student body, the student athletes, and all of your organizations for representing Concord University so admirably over the course of this year. We appreciate your efforts they go above and beyond what is expected in the classroom. Additionally, we commend all of you on your hard work and dedication in balancing academics with your outside commitments. We're proud of your achievements. So, what do you get when you walk across the stage here today? Well, you get this nicely bound leather volume over here. Uh, it's got a temporary diploma inside while you wait for your official document. Uh, of course, that's pending final grades. I don't think they're due until Tuesday at noon. So. I think the fanciest award for a degree, though, has to belong to the Finns. So, I don't know if you know this, but in Finland, when you receive a PhD, you get an engraved sword, So, which is interesting. And also a special commencement top hat, which is pretty fancy looking. But had I known this, I, I probably would have considered the University of Helsinki as a place uh, among places to look for a doctoral degree. Yet now you know, so think about that. So it's, it's my oversight. But uh, anyway, the sword itself has a much deeper meaning beyond just a ceremonial novelty. So it's awarded with an expectation that the recipient will use it to defend what is right and what is just. And so what is right and what is just? And how do you know? And so these are questions that will evolve over your own life and they've likely evolved since you've been here at Concord. So we don't teach you the answers if you think about it. Instead, we provide you the tools to seek them out yourself. Okay, these are the tools to think and the tools to learn for life. And most importantly, these are tools uh, to open you to new ideas and to change. I'm sure many of you have increased your knowledge throughout many courses you've completed here at Concord, but what you've really gained is a greater ability to reason and think. So as an example, I'll, I'll recall here a famous a quote that's attributed to none other than Albert Einstein. This may or may not be true, but since you all have just finished your final exams, I thought you might, might appreciate this. So a student asked, Dr. Einstein, aren't these the same questions as on last year's final exam? Dr. Einstein then responded, why yes, but this year the answers are different. <laughs> so, 
Well, think about that for a while. So it's not the knowledge here that's important because the knowledge can evolve. Instead, it's the process of how you reach the best answer. The answers evolve, but the questions remain the same. So everybody knows Einstein by name, maybe as much as you know Abraham Lincoln, but one of my favorite scientists is Inga Lehman. Does anybody know who that is? Raise your hand. See, no hands even going up, not even behind me. <laughs> ah, 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 it's Dr. Scheffler, he'll raise his hand at anything. <laughs> he, he thought he might get a cupcake or something maybe. But anyway, she was a Danish seismologist and she went on to discover in 1936 the Earth's inner core, which is kind of fascinating, when she was just 48 years old. She, she lived to be 105. <laughs> So I guess she was a youngster back then. So at the time, back in 1936, the prevailing interpretation was that the core was just a single molten ball of iron. So instead, she studied seismic waves from a very large earthquake in New Zealand that occurred seven years earlier, and that led to a revolution that really few people accepted at the time, and that was that the core was layered and included a, a solid inner layer. So that's really kind of fascinating if you think about it, the, the discovery of a whole new layer in the Earth. I mean, there's only four of them after all, and so she found one of them. So uh, it was really a, a maverick hypothesis, but, and it was controversial for years, uh, initially because of her gender perhaps, and it really wasn't until 1970 that the, the sharp boundary between the inner and outer core was actually verified. But she carried on, the scientific community collected more data, they ran more tedious mathematical analyses. And during this whole time though, the questions remained the same. Uh, the answers changed a little bit and that the position of the boundary between the inner and outer core was refined a little, and, but she defended what was right. So now if only she'd been educated over on the other side, on the eastern side of the Baltic Sea rather than the University of Copenhagen or maybe over at the University of Helsinki, she'd have been given that physical sword but, but instead she had one anyway, okay? It was her mind, it was her determination, it was her ability to think, which education gave her. She was given an ability to solve the complicated mathematical problems by hand, long before there were electronic calculators, before there was an iPhone calculator app, or even computers. So, I ask you, what can you carry forward from Concord University, graduates? You can carry forward your diploma, your knowledge, but also your ability to reason and your ability to think, and your sword. You can defend what is also right. Congratulations on your achievement. Thank you. Greetings on behalf of the Concord University Alumni Association will be brought to the graduates by Mr. Adam Wolf president of the Alumni Association. On behalf of the Concord University Alumni Association, I congratulate you on this occasion and accomplishment of your graduation. In what will hopefully be just a few more short minutes, you too will join the ranks of the alumni of Concord University and the Alumni Association. Since its inception, Concord University has established a distinguished legacy of quality education. As someone who sat in your seats 14 years ago, I know that Concord's rigorous programs have prepared you for whatever you pursue after graduation, whether it be graduate studies or career options and I know that you will assume leadership positions in whatever role that you choose. Ultimately, Concord University measures its success by the fulfillment alumni find in their careers and their personal lives. We seek your feedback on your experiences here and sharing of new experiences that help the institution move ahead. The mission of the association is to conduct activities that will preserve and perpetuate the pleasant memories and friendships among alumni, faculty, staff, students, and friends of the university. As Alumni Association, we are charged with enlisting the talents of our alumni and resources in preservation and promotion of Concord's image, tradition, 
pride and status as an institution of excellence. Upon graduation, you will auto automatically become members of the Concord University Alumni Association through June 2018. At that point, there are various membership packages which are affordable for all. Some might say too affordable, but I encourage you to take advantage of them. Your alumni dues help us to manage scholarships and our new popular book stipends to help students buy books and to form alumni chapters and support on-campus events such as homecoming and the spring alumni weekend. And you can keep up with us, the events and happenings at Concord, through Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Flickr, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, and I think there's a thing called Snapchat that you can use. If you're currently looking at your smartphone right now, you can also connect with the Alumni Association through our new website, concorduniversityalumni.com. Whatever you choose to do, whether it be a career or further education, we wish you all the success in the world, and we're here to help you find that success. We know from our experiences that you leave this institution with a quality education that has prepared you to be successful in all your endeavors. Former Concord President J. Franklin Marsh Sr. many years ago said, come to learn, learn to serve. This statement has become Concord's motto and it is our challenge to you today. Congratulations to you all, the newest members of the Alumni Association. Greetings on behalf of the Concord, greetings on behalf of the Concord University student body will be brought to the graduates by Ms. Ronnie Wood, president of the Student Government Association. On behalf of the Concord University Student Government Association, congratulations to everyone graduating today. It's been a long ride filled with coffee, all-nighters, and finals weeks, but you've made it here today. No matter, where else you've gone, no matter what else you've gone through the last few years, you're here at the finish line of your degree. Whether the journey was a race or a stroll, you gave it your all and you finished. No matter where you end up next, you're about to be a college graduate. Wherever the next step in your life takes you, Concord helped you get there. So good luck and congratulations to the class of 2017. We would now like to recognize our students who are graduating with institutional and field honors. Will those students please stand and be recognized? Graduates, I think it's important that we recognize that while most of the work uh, involved in earning your degree uh, was because of things that you've done yourself. Behind you was the support and care of some very special people. So before proceeding, and I know we all want this to, you all want to walk across the stage soon, I want to thank you and give you an opportunity to thank the people who helped you along the way. So I would ask that all of the mothers, the fathers, and grandparents of today's graduates please stand and be recognized. I have a feeling this is at least as happy a day for them as for you. I would like the husbands, the wives, the children, and grandchildren of today's graduates to also stand and be recognized. <laughs> Finally, I'd like the aunts and uncles, the cousins, the sisters, the brothers, the friends, and the neighbors of today's graduates to please stand and be recognized and give yourselves a hand. If you're sitting for a long time, I find that's a good thing to do. Today, you are each a part of Concord's universe, uh, family, and now and forever, you're going to be a mountain lion. I'd like to share a few other thoughts with our graduates. 
You've been a wonderful class of students. You've shared many exciting times, some interesting experiences, a lot of friendships, some historic activities. You're gonna leave us today with some wonderful memories and I will tell you that we will miss you. As I drove onto campus the other day, I thought, I just saw a car go by loaded to the ceiling with stuff. It's about to get quiet around here. Uh, summers are, are a different, different experience and uh, we, we do definitely miss you. You have enjoyed midnight breakfasts, courtesy of Aramark, student affairs. You've had finals pizza in the library, hosted by the Geographic Alliance. And let, you can also remember that every now and then I got a chance to bring finals candy to you through, as I walked through the library, and I heard about what you were going through and the tests that you were taking. You've really eaten a lot in the library, is what I'd say. <laughs> and for that, we have to, we have to thank Connie Shoemate. You've distinguished yourselves by making numerous presentations to faculty, to other students, to community members, and to young people who visit our campus. This year's annual Undergraduate Research Day and Graduate and Professional School Fair was a wonderful opportunity for you to present research findings orally and in poster presentations, and they were impressive. You've had the opportunity to enjoy many bands performing on campus with access to great shows uh, in the art gallery, theater performances that were created by fellow students and faculty members throughout your time here. They were all terrific and I hope that you enjoyed them and had a chance to participate in many. Some among this group here today participated in a box city to raise awareness of homelessness and hunger and through that you learned some, some things about, about the experience of people who don't have as many opportunities of you. We are proud of you and your passion in confronting such issues. You are here to see the track refinished. You're here to see the groundbreaking ceremony and maybe have the good fortune in staying in one of the newly renovated uh, towers uh, suites. The, the project is on track, it's on budget, that's unusual. For, for many uh, building projects, and it's gonna be completed this fall after much um, anticipation, and I thank you for your patience if you were there at seven in the morning or eight in the morning when the drills came in. Um, it's gonna be a much better place for the patience that you've shown. As you move ahead, remember the fun, remember the joy, the hard work, the activities, the friendships, and the competitions among your friends, the faculty who challenged you, the staff members and friends who sustained you throughout challenging times. Remember Concord and know that we are here to continue to support you. To access that support, all you have to do is reach out, contact us. Uh, some of you will want um, a letter of recommendation down the road. I just wrote a letter of recommendation to somebody who graduated 15 years ago. Almost all the people sitting behind you who are faculty do that regularly. We hope that you're gonna complete this day with a celebration of some sort. You're gonna enjoy the day. You're gonna take a short break. And then remember, reality is out there. And you need to pick up your, your tools and get back to work. Study, reflect, think, solve problems, stay motivated to build your futures. You are now prepared to succeed. You have finished something that not everyone does and not everyone has an opportunity to. And, and in that, you've been successful so far. You're gonna be successful going forward. Remember that the only thing that you can do to fail is give up. You cannot give up. You have to continue working and continue meeting the challenges put before you. You have proved you're a persistent person. You've already followed your dreams. You're gonna to continue to learn, continue to grow, and to succeed. I wanna share one quote with you from somebody who's one of my favorite men in history, Winston Churchill. Success is the ability to go from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. From one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. Don't get the idea that success is perfection. We all are flawed and we all make mistakes. 
You can't live a life without error. And one of the best teachers you can have is experience. And experience brings with it stumbling and mistakes and redos and complete missteps. The one thing that will brand you a failure is quitting. And you're not going to quit. Set your mind to a goal, to a dream, to a mission, and love that mission. Believe in what you're doing and then adjust if necessary. Be flexible and more than anything, don't give up. It's possible to find nuances in the dream, to tailor the ending, to revise that early hypothesis that you have. What is not acceptable is conceding defeat. Those who succeed have made dozens, if not hundreds of errors, but they don't give up the idea of achievement. Finally, I want you to know that as you leave Concord, you are not going alone, you are taking us with you. When you go to that first graduate class, you're carrying Concord University's education with you. You're gonna hear our little voices in your head even when you don't want to. You may be at a job interview and you remember, oh, they told me not to do that, and so you'll stop before you do it. <laughs> you, we're gonna be with you, whether we're one of your psychology professors, education professors, fine arts professors. You may remember the voice of a staff person who hugged you on your down days, or that friend you studied with all night. You're not alone. You have your Concord degree, you have a lot of friends here, and we are going to continue to care about you and about what happens to your life. We hope you will stay in touch so we know about your successes. May all your dreams come true. On behalf, pardon me, on behalf of the Board of Governors uh, and the faculty of Concord University, I am pleased to announce that Lieutenant Dana C. White will be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Arts posthumously. Lieutenant Dana Kales White was born in Princeton, West Virginia in 1919. He later attended Princeton High School and then went on to, to attend Concord. Like many of you in the graduating class today, Dana was a very active student during his time at the Campus Beautiful. He was a member and treasurer of the Phi Sigma Phi fraternity. He was a member of the Honored Journalistic Fraternity. During his third year at Concord, he was called to active duty to fight in World War II. Lieutenant White made the ultimate sacrifice while piloting the B-17 known as the booby trap when it was shot down over Germany in 1944. Lieutenant White and the fellow officers aboard that plane made certain that their enlisted men escaped to safety. Lieutenant White never had the opportunity to return to the campus he loved to finish his degree, but like all of the men who fought, they epitomized the meaning of Joe Marsh's motto for Concord, come to learn, go to serve. In that service, Concord University is proud to award the posthumous degree of Bachelor of Arts to Lieutenant Dana Kales White. Accepting this diploma on behalf of the White family is his niece, Miss Donna Music. Miss Music and the White family have generously loaned all of Lieutenant's White, Lieutenant White's war memorabilia to the Those Who Serve Museum in Princeton, West Virginia. I would like to recognize Mr. Tony Whitlow, and Mr. Mike Kessinger, who are here representing the museum. At this time, the candidates for degrees in course will be presented to the president by Dean Viscusi. President Bogus, pending the submission of semester grades, the ladies and gentlemen standing before you 
have fulfilled all the requirements for either the bachelor's degree or the master's degree as prescribed by the Concord University Board of Governors and the faculty of Concord University. I am pleased to present these candidates to you for recognition and the granting of degrees. The class of 2017 will please stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and the laws of West Virginia, and on behalf of the faculty of Concord University, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree you have earned in accordance with the testimonials you are about to receive. And I declare you worthy of all the rights, privileges, immunities, honors, and signal obligations here and elsewhere belonging to this degree. The class of 2017 may now be seated. We ask that the audience will please refrain from applause until the graduates have received their diplomas. This will help us. The graduates will now come forward to receive their diplomas in the order indicated in the program. Although official diplomas will be available or mailed to graduates in the near future, all participants will receive appropriate documents today from division chairs assisted by Mrs. Carolyn Cox, Registrar. Dr. Peter Viscusi, Vice President and Academic Dean will announce each of the graduates. Dr. Catherine Liptak, Graduate Coordinator for the MED and MAT programs, will assist Dr. Cheryl Barnes, Associate Dean and Director of Graduate Studies with the hooding of Master of Education and Master of Arts in Teaching degree candidates. Christina Lee Bailey, Master of Education, Cognate Special Education. Cassandra Lynn Blankenship, Master of Education, Cognate Educational Leadership. Perry Mason Blankenship, Master of Education, Cognate Educational Leadership. Megan Elizabeth Fry, Master of Education, Cognate Special Education. <laughs> Brittany Rochelle Johnson, Master of Education, Cognate Educational Leadership. Melanie Hope McMillan, Master of Education, Cognate Educational Leadership. Joseph Allen Rush, Master of Education, Cognate Special Education. Rhonda May Thomas, Master of Education, Cognate Special Education. <laughs> Abigail E. Walton, Master of Education, Cognate Educational Leadership.
Megan Lee Weichel, Master of Education in Cognate Reading Specialist. Holly Suzanne Woods, Master of Education, Cognate Educational Leadership. Mandy Dawn Workman, Master of Education, Cognate Special Education. Representing the Division of Business is Dr. Susan Robinette, Chair of the Division of Business. Michaela Lynn Adkins, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with concentrations in Marketing and Management. Anna Carolina Arahude Almeida, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Magna Cum Laude, Concentration, Finance. Bachelor of, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude, Major, Political Science. Tabitha Diane Atkins, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration, Accounting. Abraham John Bobbitt, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration, Management. Sydney Olivia Bryant, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Whitney Danielle Carter, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Emily Faith Cole, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Cum Laude, Concentrations Accounting and Finance. Sarah Bethany Conroy, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude, Concentration Accounting. Caitlin Marie Dan Danielle, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Cum Laude, Concentration Management. Blake Austin Farmer, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Marketing. Brandon Thomas Fessler, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with Honors in Accounting, Concentration Accounting. Austin Lane Fife, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Courtney Danielle Floyd, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Cum Laude, Concentration Management. Eli James Flynn, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Cum Laude, Concentrations, Accounting and Finance. Eric Joseph Garland, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with Concentrations in Management. Jeremy Maurice Gaskin, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Tyler Davis Giles, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude, Concentration Accounting. <laughs> Quinn Christopher Huddle, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Bradley Keith Jackson, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Marketing. Logan Russell Jenkins, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentrations Accounting, Finance, and Management. Matthew J. Lossick, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Brandon Scott Lee, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. 
Kristen Renee Lee, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude, concentration marketing. Colleen McNamara Mays, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, magna cum laude, concentrations in accounting and management. Cassie Marie McKenzie, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude, concentration accounting. Michaela Gay Plumley, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with a concentration in management. Shadow Dawn Ramsey, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, concentration in accounting. Daniel Andrew, Andrew Rose, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, magna cum laude, concentration accounting. Ryan Charles Rosiak, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Stephen Richard Schiffour, Schiffour, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Accounting. Chandelier Asante Shepard, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude, Concentration Administrative Systems. Sarah Marie Shrewsbury, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Accounting. Jessica Lynn Thompson, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Patrick Darrell Thompson, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Jordan Richard Towler, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude. Concentrations Accounting and Finance. Kayla Renee Trent, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, magna cum laude, Concentration Accounting. Nathaniel Ray Werner, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Concentration Marketing. Kytrell Thomas Lamar Zachary, Bachelor of Science in, Bi in Business Administration, Concentration Management. Kaylee Marie Zafiratos, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude. Concentration Accounting. <laughs> Representing the Division of, Bit of Education is Dr. Richard Druggish, Chair of the Division of Education. Kiana Grace Brown, Bachelor of Science in Education. Cum laude, teaching field, elementary education, K through six. Kaylee Jo Burtis, Bachelor of Science in Education, teaching field, elementary education, K through six. Ashley Nicole Char Carter, Bachelor of Science in Education, magna cum laude, teaching field, mathematics, five through adult. Bachelor of Science, magna cum laude, major mathematics. Amanda Michelle Cook, Bachelor of Science in Education, summa cum laude, teaching field, elementary education, K through six. Carissa Sheridan Davis, Bachelor of Science in Education, cum laude, teaching field, English, five through adult. Hannah Lynn Dyer, Bachelor of Science in Education, cum laude, teaching field, elementary education, K through six. Corbin Thomas Fields, Bachelor of Science in Education, cum laude, teaching field, social studies, five through adult. Anne Marie Galinsky, Bachelor of Science in Education, summa cum laude, teaching fields, health education, five through adult, and physical education, pre-K through adult. 
Devin Ray Graham, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Fields, Elementary Education, K through six. Lindsay Brooke Hartwell, <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. <clears throat> Samantha Jade Higgins, Bachelor of Science in Education, cum laude, Teaching Fields, Elementary Education, K through six, Multi-Categorical Special Education, K through six, and Early Childhood Special Education, Pre-K pre through K. Amber Michelle Jones, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. Tyler Heath Jones, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, Social Studies, five through adult. Christopher Wade Kelly, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, Social Studies, five through adult. Amanda Pearl Key, Bachelor of Science in Education, cum laude, Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six, and Early Childhood Special Education, Pre-K through K. <clears throat> Alea Ra Rochelle Cuisenberry, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. Krista Dawn Richmond, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. Haley Morgan Shrewsbury, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. Taylor Danielle Stewart, Bachelor of Science in Education, Magna Cum Laude, Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. Lindsay Nicole Stokes, Bachelor of Science in Education, Cum Laude, Teaching Fields, Elementary Education, K through six, and Multi-Categorical Special Education, K through six. Summer Nicole Thomas, Bachelor of Science in Education, Cum Laude. Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. Kira Ashley Trotter, Bachelor of Science in Education, Magna Cum Laude. Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. Beverly Dawn Walker, Bachelor of Science in Education with Honors in Special Education. Teaching Fields, Elementary Education, K through six. And Multi-Categorical Special Education, K through six. Juan <laughs> Elizabeth Webb, Bachelor of Science in Education with Honors in Secondary Education, Teaching Fields, Health Education 5 through Adult, and Physical Education Pre-K through Adult. Sarah Elizabeth Woody, Bachelor of Science in Education, Cum Laude, Teaching Field, Elementary Education K through 6. Brandon Bo Yost, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, Elementary Education, K through six. Mary Catherine Yost, Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, English, five through adult. Praise ye the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. Representing the Division of Fine Arts is Mr. Jack Scheffler, Chair of the Division of Fine Arts. Chelsea Raylan Elizabeth Boot, Bachelor of Arts, Majors Advertising, Graphic Design, and Studio Art. Joshua Douglas Buchanan, Bachelor of Arts with Honors in Advertising, Graphic Design, with a major in Advertising and Graphic Design. 
stay on your spot. <laughs> Timothy Edward Carrico II, Bachelor of Arts, Concentration Broadcasting Journalism. <laughs> Stanislaus X. Cohen, Bachelor of Arts, Major Advertising Graphic Design. Ralph Martin Cole III, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude, major, advertising, graphic design. Congratulations, Ralph. All for the camera. Siddharth Gurong, Bachelor of Arts, major, advertising, graphic design. Congratulations. Melody Ruth Hill, Bachelor of Arts in Communication Arts, concentration, public relations. Emily Catherine Lively, Bachelor of Arts, Major Studio Art. Cody Eugene McClellan, Bachelor of Arts, Major Advertising, Graphic Design. Nicholas C. Nisbet, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude, Major Studio Art and Advertising, Graphic Design. Kristen Noel Osborne, Bachelor of Arts in Communication Arts with Honors in Communication Arts, Concentration Broadcasting Journalism. Yeah. Bailey Francis Pace, Bachelor of Arts in Communication Arts, Magna Cum Laude, Concentration Public Relations. Yeah. Hannah Sinclair Saddam. Bachelor of Arts in Communication Arts with Honors in Communication Arts, Concentration Public Relations. Okay, Portia Larray Thompson, Bachelor of Arts in Communication Arts, Concentration Broadcasting Journalism. Would everyone please stand and join us in singing the Concord University Alma Mater. It is located in the back of your commencement program, and we will be led by the Concord University Concords. It is customary at this time for the graduates to now move their tassels from right to left. You are now officially graduates of Concord University. Please join us for a short reception next door in the small gymnasium. Graduates and faculty can remain standing and the audience may be seated during the recessional.